My name is Douglas Lan. I'm a documentary filmmaker and third-generation Singaporean. That's my grandfather. He passed away in 2015. After his funeral, my family received a mysterious envelope of cash from a clan association. And so began my quest to find out more. What are these places? Social clubs for the elderly? Secret societies? What was this clan that my grandfather was a part of? I've never seen him so young before. What are these clans doing today? I'd seen these clan houses everywhere, not knowing what secrets were hidden behind these gates. I had so many questions, but getting access was a real challenge. If the older members didn't want to talk to me, the younger ones just might. So I hunted a few of them down to find out why these associations were so important to my grandfather and his generation. And are they even relevant to me and other young Singaporeans today? After some digging, I find someone who's equally curious about clans as I am. I decide to meet up with her. Mr. Ah, yeah, yeah, I was trying to contact your, your uncle. This is Lin Wong, an independent researcher of Chinese history in Singapore and a member of six different associations. I Okay, how, 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 uh, we'll do, we'll do that for dinner, huh? So this clan is closing down. I'd like to uh, speak to the clan members to understand uh, why they're closing. I'm following Lin to Chowan Third District Association. It's a guilt for people from Chowan, China and their descendants. But is closing its doors. So Lin has come to document and salvage anything she can find. Ah, Liu Xiaoxian, you're good. I'm just talking to your research team. I'm Huang Yuqing. Sorry, I'm going to get a shower. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This association was founded in 1955 to help new immigrants find jobs and lodging in Singapore. These are three of the last few active members. Despite having over 30,000 Singaporeans whose ancestral homes are in Chow'an, the association currently has fewer than 50 elderly members and no youth to keep it going. Oh uh, do you recognize anyone inside here? I, I stand right at the back. <laughs> oh, you're, you're right at the back. Yeah, yeah this one. Liu Xiaoxian, you see this photo, you have any feelings? It's a little bit sick. It's about half of it. This is about half of it. So now it's still alive. This is about two years ago. What do you mean? 
Lynn does all this for free and in her own time, hoping that everything she documents and collects will one day be of use to someone who can truly appreciate their value. Otherwise, whatever is thrown out will be gone forever. Do you always try to capture everything? Uh, as much as possible within my limits. That's why I wake up jong. It's always a rush against time. Lin rolls out the clan's original crest and banner for one last photo. Most of today's generation wouldn't know or even care if this place closed down. And this is just one of many clans to perish over the decades. I feel that this is an immense loss of history, connections, and communities. To understand how big a threat this is, I speak to Mr. Kwa Bak Lim, head researcher at the Singapore Federation of Chinese Clan Associations the umbrella organization of clans in Singapore. The Singapore Singapore I find out from Mr. Kwa that there are roughly 230 clans that come in three types. Surname, dialect, or locations of hometowns in China like Chowan Third District Association. These so-called locality clans are most at risk of closing. Many from my generation don't even know what ancestral homes are. But I found a prominent youth member who might give me some answers on how young people can make a change. Among the cafes and bars along the shop houses in Kyongsai are historical gems hidden on the second floor. Like Chungshan Association, a locality clan founded in 1821, is one of the oldest clans in Singapore. Julie In set a record in 2015 when she was elected as the youngest youth president in Singapore Chinese clan history. Julie has been coming here since she was a kid. I want to know what this clan means to her. Does watching these musicians perform brings back memories? Yeah, it reminds me of the time my grandmother brought me here for the first time when I was only 12 years old. Zhongshan Association is a Chinese clan association for the descendants of this place called Zhongshan in the Guangdong province, China. Like all clans before Singapore's independence, they provided a community for new migrants and offered jobs and lodging through connections. Two hundred years on, Zhongshan Association remains strong. Currently, we have approximately around 200 members. About 25% of the members are youth members. Jolie grew up with other association children. This clan house 
acted as their private playground. And one corner has remained unchanged. It does hold quite a lot of memories. It brings us back to the time where times were a lot simpler. We were just students, you know, having fun together. The attic is also a time capsule of the clan's past. But it's going to be renovated soon, so the youth have been tasked to clear the space. This is the vinyl. This is the vinyl. Turn table for vinyl. You also got one, right? Yeah, you want to try? This is Ling Qing Xia, okay? Not even our e-bike. That one or VCR? VCR is the VHS. VHS. LD is the bigger VCD. Then again, the question is, do you know how to turn it on? No idea. Let's see what's inside. Two sisters, Yuning and Yunting, find their old scholarship records. Can I see? Can I, can I, can I see the photo? This is terrible. It's horrible. <laughs> Imagine, right, 50 years down the road, yeah. there's a bunch of kids, like you guys come in, clear the attic, and then after when they open this, what do you think they will say? I will probably think some of the things will be obsolete. Like, when they see it, they'll be like, oh, this is how life used to be. So it's very important that I feel they know what has been going on and, you know, how Things have changed. Uh, things have changed. <laughs> More than a decade later, out of the six friends from their childhood clique, Jolie, Bi Wen, Yuning, and Yun Ting are still active members in the youth wing. <laughs> I initially didn't understand why people my age would give their free time to clans. But I'm starting to see how lifelong friendships would keep one coming back. To learn more about how a clan works, Julie and Piwen have invited me to witness the process of signing up a new member. Uh, this form is just uh, some basic bio of yourself, right? As well as uh, some information about your family and the uh, background in uh, your hometown. La. Kelly is the niece of Vice President Serene. Do you know where you're from? Um, no. No, no. no. <laughs> Lam Long. Lam Long, okay? Normally, clans charge membership fees, which go towards running the organization. But this association is lucky. They have generous donors that keep the clan going. For locality clans like Chungshan, family is the main recruitment strategy. So usually new members come from their relatives of existing members. Right, so uh, their distant cousins, uh, brothers, sisters, and even their children or niece, niece and nephews. Actually, I just wanted to ask, what is the main motivating factor? And we have been here since we were children, so the sense of belonging has been instilled in us since we were very, very young already. So it just feels right to just come back to help out and contribute back to the association. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, as a youth member, you usually have a youth uniform. So this is just to signify that you have already joined the youth group. Yeah. Mm. Members of the youth wing have gathered for a meeting to organise an upcoming event for the clan. What should we do for Mi Autumn Festival this year? With elections at Chungshan held every two years, the current youth president is Aaron while Julie is the vice head of recreation. What about DIYing the tenton? Who DIY? The adult or the kid or everybody? We make it a kid's activity lor, with some help from the adults. In a few days, they need to present their ideas to the executive committee. Only with a green light can they proceed. I'm going to ask you to sit at the ESCO chair, mm. uh -huh. right? And then uh, you all pick your own chairs. How about that? Okay, okay. Julie, why you look so stressed? Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you see, we didn't go in. Yeah, how are we going? Hey. 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 Is there any pressure to take over the clan one day? 
I wouldn't say one day we will get a pressure. We are getting a pressure. I think it's a mixture of uh, we are not ready yet and also politics uh, because you know the older folks I think many of them still strive to be holding these uh, positions first. Yeah. <laughs> it's the general sentiment that all generations after are less resilient. But youth are the future. I'm on a quest to find out more about Chinese clans in Singapore and a way to understand my late grandfather better. I'm back at Chungshan Association, where Jolie and Aaron are meeting their clan's 91-year-old advisor, who conceptualized the youth wing. They need Hoi Se Kai, fondly known as Kai Sook's financial backing, for their upcoming Mid-Autumn Festival celebration plans. Kai Sook, are you going to be in the next one? You're going to be in the next one. I'm going to be in the next one. Clans are funded through members' donations, and Kai Sook and his family are big contributors. This is the first stop when the youth seek support for their proposals. <laughs> With financial support from Kai Sok, their next challenge will be gaining approval for the idea from the executive committee. I want to find out what other clans are doing to survive. Okay. I'm joining Lin, the independent researcher in Gongzhou, a locality clan that holds a special place in the heart. So Gongzhou is actually my first association. I've been practicing with them since I was sec three. So that's 15 years old, more than half my life. Gongzhou is my second home. Gongzhou is known for its strong martial arts, lion dance, and opera groups. It's a clan that promotes various facets of Chinese heritage, not just to members from this locality, but to everyone. So my sifu is Hainanese. I am from Sanheng. I'm not from this, this clan, in a sense. And we have also other friends who are from like different ethnic groups. Ultimately, for clans to continue, it's also important to bring new blood, new ideas to make it vibrant. Or share the heritage with anyone who wants to, to experience them. The clan's liberal approach ensures its future is bright. Every Friday night, Lin and her friends come here to practice. Together, they have represented their clan and Singapore in martial arts competitions around the world. Gong Zhao was even Lin's sanctuary in her darkest times. So four to five years ago, I was doing a doctorate. So it was a tough life in the sense that 7 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. every day, uh, without any rest, no, no Saturdays, Sundays also. I didn't have much time for family or even for my own me time. So it was only during my times in Gongzhou, like that's where I had this little me time in that sense to keep my sanity. Was it at that period of time that you quit your PhD and found your calling to become a researcher in heritage? Having gone through like the darkest times of my, of my life, I think there's nothing lower than that. So why not give it a shot for heritage? Today is their Shifu's birthday and an opportunity to come together for a celebration. The more I find out about clans, 
the more it feels like extended families to many of its members. Perhaps when we lose these cultural families, we also lose part of ourselves. It seems each clan has its own methods to survive and preserve Chinese heritage. Lin has another plan up her sleeve that might help. Back in 2018, a traditional wedding pastry caught her interest when visiting Taishan, also known as Toy San in Cantonese in Guangdong Province, China. She's been trying to find someone who can help her recreate it and bring this food heritage to Singapore. Dong Heng, a Chinatown bakery founded in the 1930s, specializing in egg tarts and other traditional Chinese pastries. Anna is the third generation owner and Lin's friend. She's eager to take on this challenge. So Anna, you know I just came from Toy Sun. Yes. Yeah, so then uh, I brought back a set of pastries, which I want you right. to try. They did mention that there's a sweetened pork. Flavour is a bit too strong for me. I think it's a lot. You find it a bit too heavy. I think Singaporeans, we like something healthier, something lighter. So this wedding pastry, right? Uh -huh. The Khoisan people in Singapore, they have never seen it before, so... You mean to say even those with uh, roots from Khoisan, this is new to them? Yes, they didn't know that this kind of wedding pastries existed. To me, this is more than just a pastry. It represents a part of Guangdong culture that has long disappeared locally. Anna experiments with ingredients to tweak the flavours for the local palate. Okay, that's yep. how it is. Oh, you want to wait? Mm. For her version, she has chosen to use the dragon and phoenix mould, which represents a divine match made in heaven, in Cantonese and Hakka culture. Oh, oh. Even in Taishan, you have to order them in advance since they are no longer the norm. I'm actually very excited to taste it. In 30 minutes, they will know if they have cracked the code. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Taste test, taste test. Oh, I must video. <laughs> okay. I'm eager to find out how it tastes also. Cheers! Cheers! Mm. It's definitely less heavy than the Toy Sun one. At least you do not get the um, smell of the lard mm -hmm. that is too overpowering. It definitely suits the local taste buds better. So Anna, will you consider putting this to the menu? Yes, I don't see why not. There are many Taishan descendants in Singapore who have lost touch with their heritage. Lin hopes that introducing this pastry will help reconnect them with their roots. I'm so glad to know that Dong Heng would like to add it to the menu, so at least people can get to enjoy it. <laughs> Definitely, I'll be hoping to introduce this uh, pastry to the Hoysan clan associations in Singapore, so at least in future, they will know they can actually have this kind of wedding pastries. People always talk about preserving heritage but no one actually talks about bringing in what has been lost. It's important to open up traditions to a new and wider audience. Once a month, the executive committee of Zhongshan gathers to discuss all association affairs. It's a long-standing tradition since 1821. Of the 19 committee members coming today, only four are youth below the age of 45. They hold their meetings in their dialect, Cantonese. And I've been invited to listen in. Uh, 
日子，我哋就可以送去醫院，俾佢睇下有啲花有啲嘢開心啲。<笑> After the discussion with the youth wing and getting financial support from Gaiso, it's now Jolie's turn to present the youth group's idea for the Mid-Autumn Festival. This is the moment where she has to convince all executive members to lend their support. Any one of them can voice their opinion, which can spark a long debate. Okay, uh, our children full team will talk with everyone about 中中秋節嘅節目係，嚟做啲。而家我哋誒呢個星期就會做八月十五嘅中秋節啦。咁我哋呢個 event 嘅目標咧，就係要三台三三可相處，三可相處，三可。I feel for Julie, but dialect is heritage, and something many of my generation have lost. Chinese, just say Chinese. This week we will do this Chinese festival, so we also hope that the family and the family can be together. 庆祝可以一起 bond <笑>。Planning an event to satisfy three generations is no easy task。因为中秋都系有大人同埋老人同埋中人，所以有冇咩节目俾俾佢哋分享下？最好咧就佢哋同我哋一齐行啦，同我哋一齐喺楼下玩嗬。咁啊，佢哋系中人家，佢哋都可以玩嗰啲烟花棒。你有 competition 俾條比賽畫，有冇有冇獎品咧？我哋可以可以整一個 competition 咯，睇邊個啊畫得最靚。牛羊三百，羊二百，哇！兩百，三二一，即係六百蚊啦。So what do you think about youths these days in general? They are very much into internet and online things. Uh, very difficult to get youth to uh, relate to association. We are actually very fortunate to have a group of youth who actually care very much for each other. All members are actually volunteers. Everybody is volunteering their time, their even money. I find that nowadays youth normally they are very busy with their work or they go dating. After a while, you don't see them anymore. The most important thing is that they must have the time and the heart to do it. Despite the committee's concerns, the event gets the green light. Possibly because the youth wing is backed by generous benefactors like Gaiso. But they will still have to prove themselves and make the event a success. I'm discovering my hidden heritage through my late grandfather's link to Chinese clan associations. I've witnessed how Singapore's clans are in danger. Some from a lack of members, others a challenge with succession. People don't seem to need these associations in the same way they were originally founded. So I asked Mr. Kwa, the head researcher of the Federation of Clans, is there a need for that same support network today? 新移民在这方面，他们非常的积极活动，而且年纪比较轻。他们对于这个文化活动方面也比较感兴趣，因为一百多年前他的老祖宗在这里创立会馆，一百年后，我们把他老祖宗创立会馆的一些事业教育给他们的下一代，这个也是一种轮回了。After speaking to Mr. Kwa, I do a bit of digging. Certain clans have registered members that are new migrants. Like Richard Zeng, Richard came to Singapore from Zhangzhou, China, 14 years ago when he was 19. Now he's a citizen and a young father of three. 下雨天怎么讲啊？落花。落花，橙色是什么？怎么样讲？福建话。丢蟹。丢蟹是紫色，黄色嘞？乌蟹。乌蟹。啊。
，学福建话很重要啊。福建话就是他们的方言嘛。你你讲这个方言，你就知道说你是从哪里来的，你会就是去了解说哦，你的根源是哪里的，然后那边的人有什么精神啊，会有一个什么文化，有什么传统啊。Richard is a member of Zhangzhou Association, a locality clan. He has more than 60 youth members, and half are new migrants. When I came to Singapore, I would meet people from outside, but we don't have a common topic. But if there is a gathering, I would enter this gathering. When I talk to the gathering friends, I would find that you live in my hometown. 我我家乡的家就是隔壁一条街，然后这种就会觉得很亲切。Richard is now the youth leader of his clan, and is using skills as a software developer to modernize his association and keep it relevant to younger people. 我们会馆的网站是我从零开始做的，就是在我加入会馆之前，会馆就是跟其他传统的组织一样，对新兴科技这方面是比较。不了解、不擅长的，我可以把我的专业知识和经验带入到会馆里面。Now he's working on a new idea that he hopes can benefit his clan, especially the older members who might not be as tech savvy. 因为比较年长的会员，他们不知道怎样子打开网站。如果是手机 app， 他每一次要看东西，在手机直接打开这 app 就可以了。他如果不知道怎样自己安装，他来到我们会馆，我们帮他们安装。With a basic plan for the app, he will be arranging a meeting with his association seniors to see if they are willing to support his idea. By getting the older generation on board, is not guaranteed. 年长的可能会觉得，哎，我我不是很需要用这个啊，对，这个是一个代沟啊。I'm following Lin Wong to find out how clan spaces. Have been pushed out of their historic locations. She takes me to Club Street to document this hot spot for clan buildings. A lot of them have moved out, but a lot of them are still here as well. So this is actually my hometown clan. It's called Nanyang Xin Xin Hui Guan. So I'm trying to find it because I've been actually. Helping many other clans, but I haven't really sort of go and find my own clan. So I want to learn more about it as well. And the clansman who shared with me this photo, he is actually the descendant of the one of the founders of this clan. They couldn't afford the high renovation costs, so then they chose to sell the place off. And so we are now in the Upper Chinchu Street. Yeah, I can. So you can see the window grills and the door. I think this should be where the photo was taken. Right. 1957. In some sense, it's an archival, but I think it must be accompanied by social memories, so that that these photos have some kind of context to put into. I can see the value in preserving these buildings. They are, after all, part of our history. Autumn has arrived. At Chungshan Association, it is traditions like this that help build cohesion and smoothen succession in the future. Chungshan Festival, Festival is good. Yeah. I hope everyone is like me, so happy to come here to participate today's Festival of Chungshan. Now we are doing this DIY Festival, okay? Take your Festival. You can use the Festival of Chungshan, the Festival of Chungshan, the Festival of Chungshan, okay? Are you a member of uh, Chungshan Association? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Coco, ask you one more time. Uh, are you a member of Chungshan Association? Yes. Bringing the children to clan activities is one way of giving them a sense of home at a very young age. Something that Jolie and her friends benefited from. After decorating, President Matthew and Vice President Serene select the best lanterns. But everyone walks away a winner 
thanks to Kai Sook's contribution. Okay, now we are going to go How are you feeling now? I feel quite satisfied that the event has gone quite smoothly and the kids are having lots of fun. So, so it's pretty good. Then I spent my childhood here, so I will continue spending my adulthood here as well. Being with Zhongshan Association has given me an insight into how a clan works and the community they built from young, all in the name of legacy. Back at Lin's home, she gives me a tour of her room where she stores all the treasures she has salvaged over the years. These are boxes where I put a lot of the clan stuff. This one I think is the most interesting one. This is actually like um, badges. They actually have like particular ones to show what rank are they. So it's quite cool. Why haven't you given that to the National Archives? Of course, if they would like to look after, then yes. But I think there's also a limit storage of what they can keep and what they want to keep. Like, I don't think people want to keep ties. Yeah, but I think it's a part of their history. Lah. I mean, I got so much hard disk, but the thing is that what if the hard disk crash and everything, right? What is the artifact of our generation? Yes, indeed. I think it's an opportunity for us to create something then. For Lin, this is just the tip of the iceberg. As a researcher, her work will never stop. Mr. Siho, yes, ah. Yeah, long I know see, yeah, yeah. Yeah, correct, correct, yeah. So then we will, be, we will meet then, and then I will come along with Mr. Lee. Lah. I look forward to seeing you again. Yes, OK. See you, bye-bye. Learning as much as I can about clan associations these days, I sent Lin some photos of my grandfather to see if she can help me locate his clan through her connections. Maybe I can find out more about him as a person and uncover something about myself too. Hey, Doug, I saw the pictures you sent of your grandfather. It's a clan membership card. Uh, I actually recognise this clan crest, eh? and it's from uh, the Canton Wong clan. You know, I think we are Tonghyong, oh, because my grandfather, my father and I, we are all from this clan. I'm on a mission to learn about clans in Singapore and my grandfather's mysterious past. I've finally gotten a lead. I'm going to meet Lin at the Canton Wong clan and hopefully get some closure. Lin introduces me to Raymond, the clan's current president. This is Douglas, and he has a relative also from our clan, so he likes to get more information about it. We were clearing all his belongings, and then I actually came across a quite an interesting booklet. This is already uh, no more in existence. <laughs> Perhaps we can dig or record. No, we have uh, plenty of record. Lin, here wow, you are. that's a lot. <laughs> can I say that this this record books are almost. 90 years old, or more, yes. The fact that this clan has kept records of their members since before World War II is astonishing. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I just found my great-grandfather. <laughs> he joined us uh, February the 12th, 1940. The things that I've never ever seen my great grandfather before. So this is how he looks like. 
Now it's my turn. You have your registration number. It is number 1042. 1042. I think it's in front. Oh, yeah, in front. Mm -hmm. uh, four. You are near there. You are near there. Here, here. Uh -huh, you are. There, the photo. I've never seen him so young before. The name, and it's from uh, Guangdong Kaiping. IC number 02713, 02713. So this is the correct person uh, Douglas is looking for. Even though at first glance, he looks so different from how I remember him. It is undoubtedly my grandfather. Raymond, do you think there is any members who are still alive that might know my grandfather? Uh, perhaps, yes. Still got, still have a chance. Uh. Raymond will reach out to the elder clan members. It's a shot in the dark, but not entirely hopeless. I wonder how Richard's plan to develop an app for his clan is going. He's a new migrant clan member and has thought of an idea to connect clans to his generation. He's presenting this plan to various committee members today, including the chairman, Mr. Ko, who is an advocate of the clan, keeping to his vision of welcoming new migrants. Half of our youth members, they are migrants, and we treat all of them the same, regardless of their local of new migrants. We have to have new people, young people, come in to, to lead. This is very important. And now it is Richard's turn to give back to the clan that has welcomed him. Because 不要在限制在这个我们新加坡漳州重会For Changzhou Association, not only is keeping up with technology important, it is the future. I realize that I have a lot to learn from Richard, uh, our youth uh, leader. And uh, we cannot just say we don't know. For now, Richard will continue to work on his app to bring his clan into the modern age. I hope that while they look to the future, I'm still on a mission to understand my past. To my surprise, the Canton Wong clan has managed to find a member who knew my grandfather personally. Kilia, 带来了香港, My grandfather came to Singapore when he was just 13. To know what he had to go through as a teenager for a better life is humbling. He 
，关住佢啲，搞住佢住邊度，我都唔記得咗。誒、啊，好似住啊，我都八八四啊，啱啦。啊，<笑>你又記得我嘅？<笑>你記唔記得去到佢個屋企本土百姓有一個好細嘅一個仔，四五歲喺嗰度走嚟走去。我知，嗰、那個有可能係我嚟嘅。我嘅阿公要去個商事，啊會館寄一封信，入邊好似有二十蚊或八十蚊俾我嘅嗱俾我嘅屋企嘅人，我就覺得好好感動。有白金俾嘅，有個規定嘅，因為呢啲係一種感情聯絡感情嚟咁樣。咁傷心嘅事，即、就、係、是、我哋大家即係去到少少俾你幫你，佢嘅錯啊，都係聯絡下感情，呢啲係一種感情上嘅啫。The more I ask, the deeper their connection seems. The kind many of my generation have no sense of, and can only imagine. 嗱喺呢啲公會入邊都好幫你幫佢嘅係咪？係啦，我哋一個人，我哋入呢個公會係咁樣計。呢啲係互相幫助，係以前嘅人一種我哋係無得依靠嘅時代。你覺得會館需要繼續？係為咗一個感情，聯絡感情，支持奮鬥呢個會，唔好俾件神。我我我我希望就係咁樣。To not only find my grandfather's clan, but someone who knew him personally, is more than I ever expected. I've learned much about the strong bonds so valuable to his generation that my generation could use more of. While times and priorities have changed, it makes me wonder what we stand to lose if my generation just looks forward and not back, and what we can gain. From merely being curious. <laughs>